from the mode where Ghana is just one large compound house, where everyone knows everyone, someone knows someone who knows someone, where friendships, family relations, tribal links, religious affiliations, old school associations, and partisan connections trump the law and principles. If we want to safeguard and superintend the public affairs, Occupy Ghana says it agrees with the Supreme Court. First, provide the resources to the relevant agencies to work. Second, enforce the law. Einstein said, we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. He's also widely credited to have said, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. We need to change. This nation needs to be graced by the wise, brave, and strong who are prepared to help the right and fight the wrong and to make our folk a nation. When Occupy Ghana looks back to when we started this fight to help the right and fight the wrong, to today, when so much is happening with what started as a simple statement, Ghana has made some progress. We were derided by some and encouraged by others. For example, right after a minister had publicly savaged us, we got support from what many would consider an unlikely source, Mr. John Snesi Dunketia. He jumped to our defense. He's reported to have said on 16 January 2015 that it was retrogressive for anyone to brand Occupy Ghana as anti-government at the time when all it was doing was seeking to complement government's efforts at fighting corruption. He added that he couldn't fathom why the Auditor General had all of these powers but had failed to crack their whip. He said, quote, I believe Occupy Ghana is helping the government's fight against corruption, unquote. On 8 January 2018, Occupy Ghana found, it found its way into President Ekufado's 2018 State of the Nation address when he said, quote, the role of Occupy Ghana in increasing awareness of the importance of the work of the Auditor General should be recognized, unquote. On 20th January 2014, when we were launching this fight, the speech that I read recited, that I recited the fully, these words of Osibisa. It will be hard, we know, and the road will be muddy and rough, but we will get there. Ladies and gentlemen, we got there. We got there. It was hard, it was muddy, it was rough, but we got there. We had to present something to Auditor General once. So on Christmas Day, I was in the office working. And my son said, Daddy, it's Christmas Day. So I went home to eat groundnut soup. This event is organized by hitherto adversaries in court. The Attorney General, the state, the Vice President is here. The Auditor General is here. Occupy Ghana, he's here. If the OSP had been there, he would have been the impartial arbiter. And then the judiciary are here. Ghana got us here. Truly, what lies ahead is more than what lies behind. But we soldier on. It is said that real supermen and women do not leap over buildings in one single bound. They take small, determined steps consistently over time.